Hello everybody, if you see this 3 dot screen all the time with your Oculus Quest 2, it's just stuck in the screen and you can't turn it in, even if you turn off the headset and on, it doesn't matter, if you restart it doesn't matter, sometimes you see like two floating buttons, but you just fade away very quickly and you still go to the screen and you can't do actually anything. What solved it for me, uh, and there might be other options, is actually uh, resetting the headset. Resetting the headset means that, and I'm going to explain to you how you can do this, uh, that all your uh, previous installed application will uh, won't be there and uh, your user account. So you need to set it up, but it's very quickly to set things up. So it's not a big issue, but if you want to solve this, this is one solution. Now, by this time, I believe that you already have the Oculus Quest, uh, sorry, Oculus app installed on your Android or iOS device. You need to go to the settings. You see at the bottom right corner, there's a settings icon. Tap this setting icon first, and then we're going to go to uh the next screen right so right now we're gonna look at the next screen you can see oculus quest 2 at the top so tap the arrow the arrow that points down and this will actually open uh a few options for you uh which we need to do this first so tap this one and then you're gonna see more options wi-fi controllers now there's um, three dots and more settings so tap the more settings uh link button so you can see it more clearly more settings tap this one now we're going to see several options here uh we need to choose uh the factory reset you see factory reset option the third option so here now you can clearly see it but make sure again that your headset is turned on because if your headset is turned off it won't be able to connect with this via bluetooth all right so make sure you turn it the headset on your oculus quest 2 and then it's going to reset and this should solve your issue and then you just need to go through the process of you know everything just installing the applications again setting up your user but this relatively quickly once you actually do this it already remembers the app that were installed so it's very easy to kind of to get back to the same uh, uh, situation that you that your headset were before you actually uh, did this factory reset keep in mind that some things won't actually be updated like for example i discovered that the move app didn't actually uh, remember the previous entries something to keep in mind so not everything will be there but again yeah overall i think it will be just fine and it, this is just a solution so you probably you know without this one you won't be probably able to get into the headset and uh and continue use again so this is it if it worked for you let me know in the comment section below uh and do it on your own risk but again factor reset is not something that you know uh, causes big issues unless there's data uh important data that you don't want to lose and some apps you know don't save the data but this is out of the scope of this video but if you don't mind just you know make, reinstalling everything well this is the way to do it um uh, and this is it for this video hope you enjoyed this one give this one a like if you find it useful and consider subscribing to my channel and press the bell button to get notified when i release new videos i see you very soon cheers bye bye